Margie McHugh. I'm the co-director of the Migration Policy Institute's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy. And I'm here today to talk about the winners of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prizes Program. This year, the Prizes Program is awarding three $50,000 prizes for exceptional immigrant integration initiatives and one corporate leadership award for exceptional efforts by a corporation to promote immigrant integration. The award winners were selected from a pool of several hundred applicants that were received from across the U.S. Uh, a national advisory board helped us in making the selection of the prize winners, and the prize winners received their awards at the National Immigrant Integration Conference in September. MPI's National Center on Immigrant Integration Policy created the prizes program uh, back in 2008 with support from the J.M. Kaplan Fund. He and they wanted to raise up the incredibly important work that's happening all across the country to help immigrants and their children join the mainstream of U.S. society and also to build stronger relationships and stronger communities by bringing immigrants and the native-born together. I'm very pleased to be able to introduce one of our 2012 E Pluribus Unum Prize winners, Building Skills Partnership. The program started in Silicon Valley in the early 2000s and expanded to a number of other sites in California pretty quickly. And the, the curriculum or program model has since been exported to other cities like Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. Building Skills Partnership was started by the Service Employees International Union, SEIU. This particular program within the union uh, was working primarily with janitors, property service workers in California, uh, organizing them and helping them and trying to figure out how to help them advance themselves uh, in their jobs, in their careers. Part of what was so exciting about BSP's application to the program was that it really, it really is a program that fi has figured out both how to have scale in reaching low-wage workers. Uh, it's, a, it's always a concern when one's thinking about immigrant integration, about how to reach people who uh, are working in low-skilled jobs and uh, have a lot of barriers to being able to uh, drive, for example, to an existing English language class. So the beauty of this program is that it tries to place many of its services either right there in union halls where, where the workers will, will already be uh, attending meetings or coming for other, um, other reasons. And many of their programs are actually at the work site and also contain a fantastic, what we call two-way model of immigrant integration where you've got native-born individuals. Sometimes they're college students, sometimes they're engineers and companies like Google, but they're people who are working uh, in some cases um, many, many, many hours of their own time to sit with these workers and to help them improve their English language skills uh, and sometimes even their, uh, their other career skills. It's a chance for the folks who are, who are uh, working in these organizations or who are students at these schools uh, to get a window into uh, the lives of immigrants uh, and to actually provide something extremely useful in terms of the, the tutoring that is um, not just a fantastic help to the individuals uh, who are their partners, but also when you think about uh, how expensive it would be to actually provide instruction in an actual classroom uh, for the hundreds of hours or thousands of hours that are being done through volunteer time, it's also an enormous cost savings. The office worker gets the opportunity to sit down with the, with the janitor or the service worker. They get an opportunity to learn from each other and understand you know, their own experiences and their own cultural backgrounds, whether they are um, you know, immigrants themselves or not, but really have a deeper understanding of you know, why, what their dreams are, and, and really realize that there's a lot of similarities in terms of their goals, in terms of what they want for their families, and it creates a better um, understanding. Of, of each other and in, in the workplace. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to really integrate and value everybody who's in a workplace, regardless of what their background is or what job they're providing at a work site. So there's one uh, particular story of a woman who's a janitor at the MGM Towers in Century City, and we had the workplace um, job skills ESL program, and she'd uh, she wanted to be a citizen and she's qualified to be a citizen for a long, long time. But she always saw that as something very far, something that one day, and that's just a, that's a dream, that's something that hopefully one day she can do. As we started the ESL project, we also shared with the students our other programs, like our computer classes, and we have a citizenship class. 
she actually started going to the citizenship class as well. And by the time, seven months later, that that program ended, at graduation, she pulled me aside. She's like, I just got my date to get sworn in. She's like, I passed my test. I went in with confidence. So, you know, and those stories just multiply and multiply for us. The Building Skills Partnership is a model of the spirit and character of the E Pluribus Unum program in so many ways. First, it's a model of two-way integration that originated with the engineers and computer programmers in Silicon Valley wanting to tutor the invisible, devalued service workers uh, who clean their offices at night. Yes, some companies offer language and skills training to their employees, but it is rare when the professionals and managers of the companies get up from behind their own workstations to do the tutoring and the training themselves. The Building Skills Partnership is deeply involved in promoting enduring institutional change by participating in the EDGE program to promote and improve workforce training in California, and by sitting on a number of workforce investment boards across the state of California that makes day-to-day -day policy for these workers. So for all these reasons, we are simply delighted to be able to award our 2012 Eplorbus Enterprise to Building Skills Partnership. Congratulations.